Welcome everybody, friends and birds of all species. I'm Daisy Hine and we're back with another episode of Danganronpa 3. Killing, uh, no, Danganronpa V3. V3. Uh, Killing Harmony. So, last time, fuckery happened. We got butt fucked by a machine. Uh, we forgot our ultimate, then we became ultimate again, and then we found out there's a hunt. But anyway... Uh, let's talk to our guy. I'm not sure yet if you're gonna be our friend or enemy, maybe a frenemy. Let's go. And watch me fuck up these voices again. Um, are you an ultimate student too? Uh, yeah, well then. Hey, we got an ultimate detective! That's what's up! Huh? What? You're a detective! That's amazing! No. Uh, no, I don't have any credentials to call myself a detective yet. Oh, you're so cute! Why is he, like, all blushing? I think it's so adorable. I always love these sprites. They're so adorable. Okay. <laughs> I just happened to solve a case that came across, and now people call me that. Not many people can just happen to solve a case. You should be more proud of that. Oh, we're a penis. Ha, nice <laughs> penis. <laughs> Ultimate pianist? Yeah. Well, no one, actually, no one calls me Ultimate Pianist, just Piano Freak. <laughs> Yeah, he's so cute! There were even times I played the piano so much that I would forget to eat and That's a problem. Eventually, I won trophies from concerts, and people started praising me. You're so adorable. That's how you got your ultimate title? That's way more impressive than me. No, that's all I'm good for, really. But this is my first time meeting an ult ultimate student. Well, well, ultimates are scattered all over the country. They're difficult to find. Um, Even so, there are 16 students gathered here now. Why is everyone here? Were we kidnapped? Hmm. If so, is some organization out there trying to kidnap all the ultimates? Hey. Uh, about that. I don't remember. Huh? huh? You don't remember? I've been trying to remember it, but I can't, no matter how hard I try. I have no idea how I got here. When I woke up in my locker, I I don't know how I got there. It's like that memory just fell out of my head. Same here. Wait, we remembered it? And then they shined the flashlight at us and... Okay. Huh? I can't remember anything. Even though I'm trying so hard to remember... Whoa. Whoa, what the fuck was that? You ain't about to skirt past that like I didn't see what I just saw. What happened? Are you okay? What's wrong? No. Oh, I'm fine. I just got a headache, that's all. But Can't be a coincidence that we both don't remember what happened to us. Um. I'm probably it's not the I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Probably not a big deal. That is a huge deal. You're in a place you don't know and you don't remember how you got there. Either you are in the hung uh, in the hangover or you're fucking a dang and rumpa. We're confused. We just need to relax is all. Oh, let's imagine Marisa Revel's sauna time. That's is that music? I don't really know much about music. I see, that's unfortunate. When we get out of here, I'll share it with you. Aww. Oh, right. But first, let's look for a way out. If there are other ultimate students here, we should talk to them too. At least one of them has got to know something. Right. Yeah, good idea. Aww, it's a little fragment. You can now leave the room, okay.
Even though it's a hallway, there sure are a lot of plants growing around here. I love this. Man, I love this. And the air is here is heavy. Oppressively heavy, as if it's forcing you to recall your fears, smothering you in anxiety. That's my day-to-day -day life, bitch. This is just a school, right? What kind of school makes you feel like- EVERY SCHOOL! Huh? Um, I just felt something in my pocket of my uniform when I looked. I found this inside. It's some kind of mini tablet computer. Oh, maybe I have one too. I knew my backpack felt heavier. Cool. The word monopad is written on it. When did this get in my backpack? My name was displayed when it put it up like a student handbook. I don't know what it could be used for, but I don't think we should throw it away. Let's just hold on to them for now. Yeah, I agree. She just spun out of nowhere. Okay, so this is a classroom. Oh, hey! Look, is this like our bedroom or something? Oh, wait a minute! Is this the music room? Oh, it's locked? It won't open, but the room looks like it was made for me. Maybe that's like our bedroom. Oh god. Ugh, they're here again. What do you think this place is? Check it out all the fancy spans we ride in! Seems like a place for eggheads! Huh? Isn't this an ultimate research lab? What? What the hell? Why would you tell them? We're trying to make it all dramatic. research lab. Yay. We want you guys to keep honing your ultimate talent. So we set up these rooms for you. This is the ultimate penis lab. But we set it up labs for the other ultimates too, of course. Most of them are hidden though. By the way, the reason this research lab is still locked is... Is... Never have I heard that expression before, but I'm going to use it from now on. Ah, damn it, my headphone fell out. Fuck! And that's good advice and all, but don't you mean to say hold your horses? Oh, little kid is such a dummy! Why are you laughing at a bully like a bully monitor him? Aww. It seems like the music room. But I guess it's an ultimate lab. Hey. Do you really think there are other rooms like this for everyone? I wonder about that too. Anyway, I thought I, this was the music room. Oh, I really wanted to play the piano. Oh, she's so cute! Oh well, I can play as much piano as I want when I finally escape this place. Damn right.
Is there any other labs here? I am loving all these flowers and stuff. What was that? Oh, okay. I thought those were like red eyes looking at us. I was freaked out for a second. Oh, hey! And why is there a dragon? I like that dragon. You look boring. Um. Hey, you're an ultimate student, right? Can we talk? Okay. Huh? Did she not hear me? Okay, then. Hey! Hello! Wow, she's really lost in thought, huh? What? She still can't hear me? Maybe she's really a detailed mannequin. <laughs> no. no, I don't think that's the case. No. You never know. We already saw a moving teddy bear. As I said that, I poked her cheek. I felt her skin squish beneath my fingertips. What the fuck is wrong with this girl? Poking her doesn't work either. Then maybe she's just a doll. But she looks so real. Try it, Suichi. Poke, poke. <laughs> uh, no thanks. Just do it. It's so much fun. As I grabbed his hand and make to make her poke his her other cheek. What? <laughs> from both sides. How truly unexpected. <laughs> We're just... Poor Suichi. We're gonna bully him, aren't we? I like this. So she wasn't a mannequin. Well, I knew that. No, you didn't, Kaede. You're stupid. If you knew that, why didn't you make me poke her? Because she wasn't responding. I didn't mean any harm. I was just deep in thought. So I thought if I ignore you, you'd go somewhere else. Um, you were ignoring us? Isn't that a bit rude? Um, well, isn't it rude to force someone to talk when they won't want to? She has a point. Oh, but it's fine. I feel like talking now. Right. Now let's talk. What do you want to start with? Right. My favorite Doraemon episode is 53. The one with the security cameras and target practice. Um, before you talk about that, can you tell us your name? Oh. Oh, that's nice. My friend is a cons player, too. Hi, Eva. So you're a cons player? Oh, are you surprised? I get that a lot since I'm so plain. I mean, it sort of makes sense. You have this strange, almost sexy aura about you. Mm hmm. Kayede! She just swinging all sides. I like it. I bet it's because you got people ogling all your curves on a daily basis, huh? Um, Kayede, you sound like a creepy old man. She really does, though. <laughs> Normally, I don't really like people looking at me like that. I just like making cosplay. I'm fine with others wearing them. But lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves before their characters. I'd rather my, wear my outfits myself with love than give them to other people like that. Wow, you're pretty intense. I mean, you're ultimate. You're all fucking intense. It makes me happy when I get to show people the outfits I've made. And thanks to my sponsors, I can use materials that are just plain expensive. Oh, well, of course the ultimate cosplayer would have sponsors. No. It's not a big deal. People just crowd around me like I'm a panda at the zoo. No. That's so amazing. You're pretty much a celebrity, you know? Hey. Is it all right if I ask you something, too? Earlier, you looked as though you were thinking hard about something. What was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we need to talk to her about that. Nice job, Suichi. It's from that one thing. Uh, that bronze statue over there. I'm just playing curious, but... Did y'all hear that? I'm just playing curious about it. I like that dragon. Um, it's almost like it's floating, right? Doesn't it look pretty out of place? Yeah. Now that you mention it, you're right. It sort of bothers me too. This is a school, right? But everything here is so weird, isn't it? 
There's trees and grass growing inside, and I can't find the exits. It seems we're the only people in here. And it seems we're the only people here. Are we going to be okay? Are we going to be able to get out? Okay, um, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. huh, well, that friend looked on her face was sort of sexy. <laughs> Bitch, if we are the horniest motherfucker. <laughs> And I'm enjoying this so much. Not only are we a girl, but we're horny. This game is made for me. <laughs> this again? I'm just kidding. Well, it's not a big deal. Our present situation is our main concern. Once it's over, we'll be all good and dandy. I see. You're pretty optimistic, Kayane. Well, people do say I'm carefree. Worrying won't get you anywhere, you know? It's better just to be carefree. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Being all depressed won't help anything. That's why I take my daily fuck it all. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, so let's try to find a way out. Okay, we got one down. Okay. I guess we're going this way. Seems like he's going to be interesting. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> what the? Is this a dude half? Is this a cyborg? Please stop. Don't come any closer. That boy in white is chasing that other boy in the funny clothes. <laughs> oh, dude, that's hilarious. What's happening here? Okay, this is gonna be interesting. I think I'm gonna like these two. Please stop! Please stop! Please stop! Don't come any closer! <laughs> come on, wait up! Let me touch your body a little! I've always wanted to be friends with the robot! Ah, he's a robot! Huh? What a robot? What is it? What is it? Are you another robophobe? <laughs> robophobe! <laughs> ah! I do not like any. I do not accept any robophobes on my channel. We are robo friendly in this motherfucker. I have a recording function. If you make any robophobic remarks, I will see you in court. <laughs> I love this so much. Wait, you're a robot? Are you for real as a robot? No. Or I almost put his. Are you one of the monocubs? Do not compare me to those toys. I am not just any old robot. I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. But please, address me as K1. Oh. He sounds nice. I like him. Um. Ultimate robot. That's not fair! You can't be the only one who gets to show off. I'll introduce myself too. <laughs> I'm not sure who this guy is. Is this a guy or a chick? I don't know. Um, go ahead. Wait, what? We have a- We have a bot- Like, we have a mob guy here, too? Hey, he has a non-binary color, says this thing. Okay. A robot and a supreme leader. Neither of them make any sense. <laughs> I love this. By the way, I learned a hard way that a robot's breath smells like gasoline. Was he just kissing freaking Kibo? <laughs> My breath does not smell like gasoline. I am powered by electricity. <laughs> this dude is a stitch. I love this guy. <laughs> just kidding. You're not funny. <laughs> of course you don't think I'm funny. Robots can't understand human humor to begin with. Do not mock me. I have studied the complete history of stand-up comedy. Yes! 
I think you should have just watched stand-up comedy instead of studying it. Um. Plus, I may have the appearance of a robot, but I am a high school student just like you. Huh? You're a high school student? Yeah. I was created by Professor... Oh, Jesus. Uh. Itabashi. The leading authority in field of robotics. He installed in me a strong AI capable of learning and maturing like a human brain. Cool! I'm liking all these people so far! This is fun! <laughs> this is- oh god, it's gonna go so bad. I keep forgetting what game we're in. <laughs> That's why at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. But the professor raised me like I was his own child. He taught me so many things. Until finally, he enrolled me in high school. How about this? And now I stand here before you all. See, I'm just like everyone else. Hey, hey do robots have dicks? Ah! He's asking what we're all thinking! I like this guy! He's gonna be my friend, okay? Totally, totally, he's gonna be friends, okay. Please do not ask such ridiculous questions. Be like, okay, Kibo, okay. Do robots have penises? <laughs> Me and Cookie Chew are gonna be cool, okay. I only... <laughs> I only ask because your backstory is pretty flaccid for a robot. <laughs> I love this! Bro, I'm so hyped! Well, this well, now I can see how being a robot might be enough to be called an ultimate robot. Hey, Kokichi, I really don't understand your ultimate supreme leader talent. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm just the... Supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That's all. That's all! Okay, so like, can you get me cocaine? Like, it's... What? I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. Damn! Huh? Seriously, the supreme leader of an evil organization? Because I'm a liar. Who knows? I'm a liar after all. Yes! Huh? You were- so you were lying just now? It's true! Well, I am the supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That part was true. Jeez. So were you lying or not? <laughs> hey, I'm not telling you! Hey. By the way, is- what's the name of that organization? Wait. It's a secret! I- I'm gonna have so many- it's a secret, you know, since it's a secret organization. But I've never heard of such a large secret organization like that. Maybe. Of course you have it. I feel like he would be a valley girl, but also I'm trying to do a deeper voice. But that also makes it sound like Monokuma. Damn it! Of course you have it, because it's a secret organization. Everything he said so far has sounded like a lie, so that's gotta be a lie too, right? Just leave him alone. Everything he has been saying has been a lie. He's far more suspicious person than I am, that's for sure. I'm not sure, you're the only robot here, and have you seen that game Among Us? Well, of course you're not a suspicious person, because robots are people, silly. Damn. Oh, that's mean! Maybe we won't be as cool as I thought. Oh, are you mad? You gonna hit me with a rocket punch? I do not have that function. Ah, oh, man, you're boring. What a weird boy. He's like a mischievous little kid. This is no time to be joking around unless he really is an evil supreme leader. I'm gonna head out before these fuckers go insane. Okay. So I got three down. Oh, hey, 
Hey, there's the weird guy. I mean, we're all fucking weird. Oh, hey there. You guys kidnapped too? Well, you both look alright. That's good. Situation could be better, though. Yeah, totally. Hey, let me ask you something. You guys remember how we got here? If you're asking us, then you don't remember either, do you? Ha, <laughs> you're the same way too, huh? You don't remember anything, do you? Guess that means everyone here is the same. Huh? Everyone? I asked the others too, they said they don't remember. So the others don't remember either. It's like we all have amnesia or something. Ah, uh, but that's not normal if everyone here has amnesia. Well, I guess we're in a pretty abnormal situation then. Your face is fucking with me. I don't think we're gonna be cool. What? That's not true. Uh, wait, amnesia's a stretch. We're probably just confused. I'm sure we'll remember everything eventually. Oh my god, what is this face? Or it could be group hypnosis, maybe brainwashing. In any case, I hope we remember soon. That's it. Otherwise, I'll end up the outcast. The outcast? What do you mean? How should I like, to tell you the truth, how I got here isn't the only thing I don't remember. I also forgot my own talent. Damn! What? Oh, I'm in trouble. I know I must have been some kind of ultimate. I just don't remember. Is that true? Of course it is, but then again, I don't blame you for not believing in me. I never told you my name, did I? It's not like I already told you, but then I forgot, did I? Yes, that's exactly what happened! No, you haven't told me your name yet. My name is Rantaro Mom. Kinda cute. <laughs> I can't remember my own talent, but I promise. For someone who can't remember his talent, he doesn't seem too shaken up about it. He has a he has a bunch of trinkets on him and a little like compass thing on his side. I think he might be the ultimate explorer. Is it weird? I'm not really bothered by the by the fact that I don't remember my talent. Huh? huh? You know, I'm actually kind of fo looking forward to finding out. I wonder what kind of ultimate I am. Anyway, it'd be nice if we could get along. We aren't going anywhere for a while. Jeez. Stop that. We'll escape soon. Hmm. You really think it's gonna be that easy? I don't like your face! Huh? What do you mean? Nothing. Just a feeling. <laughs> uh, hey, don't worry about it, alright? I thought he is a pretty chill... I thought he would be a pretty chill guy to talk to, but... I have no idea what's going through his head right now. Me. Alright, crazy person. Where's some other crazy people? This room? Dining hall! <gasps> oh, yay! I love food! Joke! Oh, hey, two girls. Okay. Is this a dining hall? A dining hall definitely makes this place feel more like a school. But this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Juven for Gifted Juveniles. It's, not any it's anything like a typical school. Who are you, little Harry Potter looking motherfucker? Yeah, so we're stuck here. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Don't be scared. I'm sure we'll be out of this place in a jiffy. No. I'm not scared. It's just a pain. Something like this won't make me panic because I'm a mage. Huh? A mage? Oh, that's right. I haven't told you guys yet. Prepare to be a mage. I love this. I love this girl! But I'm a fish 
actually called the ultimate magician. Ah. Uh. Oh, so you're a magician. You should have said that from the start. No, she's the ultimate mage. Okay? I mean, it makes sense, though, since magic doesn't exist. <gasps> Kaede's not a believer. Yeah, magic does exist. Huh? Because I'm a mage. You're just a magician, right? Stop that! You just gotta keep shitting on the girl's dreams. Fuck you, Kaede. Only on paper. Okay. I know I'm known as a magician, but that's just a ruse. I'm actually a mage. Huh? Just a ruse? You guys might not know them, but they're a group called the Magic Castle. Also known as the Hall of Magicians. It's where the world's magic lovers gather. Um, I was the youngest person to ever win their Magician of the Year award. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's all a ruse. Why do you... They're keeping my magic a secret by disguising it as tricks. Because of this ruse, I became a famous all over the world for performing tricks. But I'm not a magician. I'm a mage. Nobody believes me. Um... There, there. Don't be sad. Hey. Well, you should show us your magic. Then we would believe you. Oh, that's right! Help us out with your magic! Take us back to when we originally... No. Magic isn't all powerful. It can only do so much. Mm. I see. Then what can you... You're right. I can use what card you pick, pull out coins, and release doves. And if I get serious, I can even saw someone in half. Dope! Those are just ordinary magic tricks. Do not shit on the homegirl's dreams! Have you ever seen Now You See Me? Magicians are dope! Whoa! <laughs> I'm yelling so I can build up my spirit energy! Don't you know how you can unlock your brain's full potential by yelling to build up your spirit energy? I've heard of that pro athletes do that. It's supposed to help you focus. Yes. I must be prepared for combat at all times. Just in case someone tries to attack me. I will protect myself with new Akat Aikido. Aikido? Then that then you're Oh, I always imagined uh, Aikido Aki, Aki Masters to be huge, burly guys, but you're so cute! Cute? Ah, oh, stop it! I'm not cute! Oh, God. <laughs> my face crinkles when I suck down a shit. Oh, I wipe my face and my eyelids turn inside out. What is going on? I see, but I think you're cute, right, Sweetie? Oh, right. I love we keep embarrassing him. It's so fun. I like it. Oh my god, what is that face? <laughs> I take back the cute comment. <laughs> What's the matter? Your face looks really intense now. I like to be praised by degenerate males. Degenerate males? You mean men? Are you uncomfortable around them? It's way bigger problem than just uncomfortable. If any degenerate tries to touch me, my reflex is to grab them and throw them across the floor. Hey, good. touch her, Suichi! Touch her! <laughs> You're right. That's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable around men. Uh, by the way, uh, what is this Nito, Neo Aquino you mentioned? Nido Aquino is an original form of Aquino that my master and I completely made by ourselves. Oh, so your Aquino is self-taught. That's still cool. Is that everybody in the room? 
Come on, Suichi, touch her. I want to see this. Whoa! Oh, hey, it's the crazy girl. This is a bear a warehouse. It's pretty big. Damn it, where the hell is this? We saw a conspicuous girl rummaging through a shelf filled with different chemicals. Hey, what are you looking for? Don't sneak up on me, bitch! Hey! That's a fight! I mean, I'm fighting you now! <laughs> I literally just met you and you've already called me a bitch! Hey, I'm sorry if we surprised you, but you shouldn't talk to Katie, like... Hey, crotch rot, are you staring at my tits? Never mind, I like her again. <laughs> what? Happy self, a guy like you can only dream of landing a big boob hottie like me. Gone, get yourself a good eyeful. No, I wasn't staring, my eyes just happened to look there. <laughs> you admitted to staring at her titties. Titty typhoon. <laughs> Oh, my eyes just happen to look there. Oh, my hand just happened to grow up like- What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Why do these people automatically just go zero to 100 so quick? Immediately! Like, me talking to Suichi, that's cool. We're- we're cool, we keep things copacetic. And then I talk to her, or I talk to that weird hair dude, and like, people just lose their shit. I don't know what's going on! <laughs> Uh, I can identify pervs on site, and you're definitely a fucking perv. Oh, maybe we'll get our titties touched. I'm joking. <laughs> okay, sorry. That's why you wear that hat, right? To hide your skeevy eyes. And that's why you wear those pants, right? To hide your nasty... We all wear pants! Yeah! I'm sorry, that was bad. I'm not that place. Yeah! <laughs> I'm wearing pants, y'all. It's a rare episode where I wear pants. <sighs> Everyone wears pants, though. Ha! Everyone knows only pairs wear hats. I hate to break your heart, but girl, fight me with my big old Lincoln hat. Aw. No, it's only go. It's only fun when we embarrass him. Stop embarrassing Suichi. But I don't think he's embarrassed. I think that's like a flashback looking face. Stop it. Damn. Okay, don't mess with his hat. Leave me alone. I can wear a hat if I want to. Damn, do not mess with this hat. Oh, so now you a bitch. What the hell? Are you getting pissed off at me? You called him a pervert. Tell the world you're sorry. If you startle me into losing motivation, that loss will be felt across the whole world. Hey, hey your vulgar language is uncalled for. Just who are you anyway? Seriously, you don't know who I am? I'm the gorgeous girl genius whose good looks and golden brain will go down in history. I'm the one. I mean, you don't seem all bad. Um, I've never heard of you. So what kind of things do you invent? I make all kind of gadgets. Ones that let you type while you're asleep, or read while you sleep. Even ones that let you eat while you sleep. Why does everything involve sleeping? Sure. I was inspired after I realized how much time people waste on sleep. Now, this one time I invented this really stupid eye drop contact lenses as a gag. Huh? Really? Really? That's your invention? Some of my friend wears them. Ugh. Your friends sound like total plebs. That invention was nothing. 
It doesn't make you more productive while you sleep, so it was a failure, just like you two. I signed the patent rights over to some company and never looked back. Seems like a waste. That's way better than your do stuff while sleeping inventions. By the way, what were you looking for earlier? You sounded pretty desperate to find it. Are you a dumbass? In a situation like this, I gotta find some meds. Medicine? Are you hurt or feeling sick? No, idiot. I need strong meds because I want to trip my fucking balls off. Yeah! I'm hanging with this girl. We all getting high. I think Monokid is coming with us. Oh, okay, no, no, not that way. I just want to set my mind free and forget about all this shady situation. Wait, what? You can't use drugs to get high. You definitely shouldn't do that. <laughs> what the hell? My genius can't be constrained by the wisdom of the masses. Besides, this place probably doesn't even have the shit I need to get loosey-goosey. So are we cool? Are you done being mad at me? There's a fine line between genius and insanity, but she's definitely beyond insane. Good lord. What's up with Suichi? He's been quiet ever since my, uh, Mio mentioned his hat. Does he not like to talk about- Give him a hug! He needs a hug! Anybody has that face, they need a hug. I want to hug him. He's, he's just so cute! I want to hug him! He's like a little teddy bear. I love it. Gonna meet someone in the bathroom? Possibly. Suichi, do you mind waiting here? <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> Don't give me that weird look. I'm just gonna check to see if there's anything inside. I doubt there'd be an exit, but just in case. Sorry! <laughs> oh my god, he's so cute! Why is he so cute? Okay. The toilets seem normal, but there's... But it's weird that plants growing this thick. Fertilizer. And I feel sorry for people who got that joke. Okay, so nobody's in here? That's still so weird. Gonna look in the boys' bathroom? This is boys' bathroom, right? I can't go in there, not even in this situation. Uh, if you want, I could go look. What? I'm not that curious about what's in there. Well, this is an unusual building. Anything could be in there. Wait here a minute. Oh, so we can play as both of them! Okay, but that's the we- Oh, wait. Inside. It was just a normal bathroom. Nothing out of the ordinary. No one was inside. I see. That scared me. Maybe detectives live for these kind of scary situations. I like him. I think he's gonna be our friend or he's gonna be insane. Either way. There's stairs here look on the basement. Shuichi. What should we do, Suichi? You wanna head down? I don't know, basement might be dangerous. This place is full of mysteries. That's right. And let's proceed with caution with you at front. <laughs> ah, so I'm in front, I see. With hesit oh with hesitant Suichi leading the way, we carefully made our way down the stairs. Aw, we're so mean to him! It doesn't look very dangerous to me. Well, some dangers are hidden where you can't see. Sweetie, you have quite in the imagination, don't you? No. Nah, you're just not considering how dangerous this is. 
Yeah, maybe, but we should look around the basement too. There might be an exit. Oh, but we should be careful. Yeah, right. Yo, this place is freaky! Okay, dead end, don't like that. Oh, hey! Game room? Yes! Yes! My room! Yo, this place is cool! Oh, hey, and there's another dude here! It looks like a game room. But this is a school, right? Is it normal for a school to have its own game room? Well, It's certainly strange. Damn, his voice is deep as fuck. I love it. Jeez, what a strange place. When I heard we were trapped here, I didn't expect we'd have a game room. Um, are we really trapped in here? There must be an exit, right? You've still got oh, damn. To go. Isn't that what you guys were walking around looking for? Then figure it out yourself. Yeah. Uh, okay. He looks weird. Are those like scissors or... He has double horns. However, we may be trapped, but it's pretty cool here compared to prison, anyway. Huh? huh? Prison? What? But you're an ultimate student, aren't you? It's an old story. I like him. The Yomahoshi, the man called the ultimate tennis pro, no longer exists. I like him. And hey, don't, don't hog the joint. Ryoma, Ryoma Hoshi, really? I've seen you in the newspaper. That hit his prodigy who singly handily took down a mafia. What? You took down a mafia by yourself? The paper said he shot them through the head with his tennis skills and iron ball. Bam! Okay, I want him on my side. <laughs> what the hell, really? So you know that mu so you know that much already. Well, what do you think of the loser before he used his talent to kill? I think that's dope as fuck. We're we're cool, right? We're cool. We're cool, right? Right? <laughs> but why would you throw away your future like that? <laughs> because I didn't need a future anymore. Huh? No, it's nothing. It's not like me to talk so much. More importantly, anyway, I'm warning you. It's dangerous to just walk up to a killer like me. I like him. As he said that, he turned his back to us. I think he's cool. Is that a bar? No, those are board games! Even better! Ah, we got so much cool shit here! Thud. Huh? Um, What's wrong? The door is- oh, barely opens a crack. Was it poorly built? I'm remembering a poorly built door. Well, nothing we could do about it. Let's search somewhere else. Library! Oh, cool! Whoa! Oh, hey! Look, there's the evil girl. As soon as I opened the door, I suddenly gagged from the musty smell of old books. Is this a library? There are books all over the place. It doesn't seem very organized. Oh, does that bother you? Are you neat freaks, Suichi? No. no, it's just I was wondering if somebody was using it before us. Huh? huh? Someone? No. That's nothing. Let's just investigate for now. He is 100% so pale. There are a lot of books crammed in here. They're all in different languages, too. How is anyone supposed to take a book off the shelf when they're all crammed in like this? I was trying to talk to her, but okay. Oh my god, you look like an evil Kyoko and I love it. Hey. Um, are you an ultimate student too? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Huh, is that it? She sure doesn't talk much. I'm Kaede Akumatsu. 
I'm the ultimate pianist. I'm Suichi Sayara. I'm the ultimate detective, I suppose. Jeez, not suppose. You are the ultimate detective, okay? Yeah, you're right. Oh, he's so cute! I'm, I'm gonna be saying that the entire- He's gonna be the first one to die, isn't he? Oh, he's gonna be the first one to die! Oh, no, I like you, Suichi! What about you? You do not seem like it. That is too much murder looking. The ultimate child caregiver, huh? Surprise. I don't look like someone who liked kids, do I? Huh? Well, you're right. I don't like kids that much. But you're the ultimate child caregiver. The then children must like you a lot, right? Bro, that's how it was. Like, I had to grow up in daycare for a long ass time. Like, literally, I was in daycare from seven years old all the way to, like, 14. Sucked. But all those little kids loved me. I did not like any of the asses. They were annoying little snot-nosed bastards. And because uh, I was the oldest female in the room, the counselors... Whenever they got tired, would say, hey, Daisy, you look after them. I'm going to go hang outside. And I'm just like. I don't kids are weird. They come to me on their own. I'm not that good at taking care of them. I'm not that friendly either. Mm -hmm. But they say kids are very intuitive. If they like you that much. Hey. And they could probably tell how loving you really are, Ma Mackie. Yeah, that must be it. You've chosen a perfect career for yourself. It wasn't my choice to begin with. Huh? huh? What do you mean by that? So what? Nothing. I just grew up in an orphanage and I got saddled with helping out a lot. Hey! Kinda like me! Yay! Orphanage, huh? I see. Um. Uh, by the way, do you know anything about the Mana Cubs? Yeah, yeah someone's gotta be controlling them, right? Any idea who it might be? How would I know? Hmm. Well, fair point. Hmm, the Mana Cubs are definitely involved in our situation. Hey, boy detective, shouldn't you have already figured out what's going on already? Huh? What? Um, well, he's a detective, not a god. He can't know everything. I mean, who cares about some stuffed animals? Escaping this place is way more important. Uh... Seriously, you think we can escape? Abducting ultimates from across the country would require massive resources and planning. What makes you think a group capable of that would let us just walk out of here? That's not true. If they won't end this, then we will. I know we can if we work together. What? Work together with strangers. You're a naive fool if you could think that... You're a naive fool if you can end this so easily. <sighs> yeah. Oh, and she disappeared. Our conversation finished and she quickly headed out of the library. That was kind of odd. She didn't seem like the ultimate child caregiver. Jeez, Jeez don't say that. These books seem difficult to read. They're not even written in the language I recognize. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with them. Oh, we couldn't go here before. Oh, hey, we didn't. Looks like the iron gate opened. Someone open it for us? Let's check it out. Whoa. Oh, is this the entrance hall? Right, Suichi? This must be the entrance hall, don't you think? Yeah, I suppose so. Which means... The exit must be closed. Up oh, there it is. That door must be the entrance. If we walk through, we can escape this place, right? Wait, I don't think we should open the door so carelessly. It could be a trap. Oh, 
okay, I don't like you. He looks like he'd be evil. Worrying about that is unnecessary. I have already examined the doors. Oh, uh. Yes. Uh, this is a. F I don't like this guy. <laughs> you wonder who is this? Yes, I shall make that clear first. Oh, I, I really wanted to be an anthropologist for a while. That that seems really cool, like the study of different cultures, right? And I was I just thought that was super cool. Uh, like examining their art and their stories and all that stuff. I love that. So I, I might like you. I just have to get over your face. And the fact that you look like you could, that you're trying to eat my soul with your eyes. Koreiko? Wait. Kore Kiyo? Anthropologist? Please, call me Kiyo. As for anthropology, would you like a simple explanation? Okay, sure! The study of customs, legends, folktale songs, and much more. I think that's so cool! Okay, I might be cool with you! There might even... There may even be customs in your daily life, the origins of which you do not know. For example, certain aspects of birthday or New Year celebrations. We just had a New Year! Today's the 1st of 2021, uh, the day I'm recording this. So hey! Anthropology sheds lights on traditions and customs such as these through rigorous analysis. It is a study that examines throughout behind culture, faith, and customs. Okay, I sort of get it, but not really though. It sounds like a lot of fun though. Well, of course it's fun. It is a study focused on humanity. Dude, why are you trying to look uh, like, it looks like he's trying to be sexy. And I don't like that. <laughs> I believe that human beings are beautiful I believe that human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. Yeah, Coyote, get the fuck out. I find all aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? Jesus. I don't like this or the red armband. Just automatically I see a red armband and I'm on alert. <laughs> the people are wonderful. This guy looks like a creep and it turns out he is one too. <laughs> anyway, we can go outside if we just go through these doors, right? You should find the answers to such questions on your own. The moment your hopes are shattered, that too it may be beautiful. Shattered, what does that mean? That means the doors are locked, you idiot. And let's go. Aw, okay. I like him so much! I love them as a couple! Determined as I was, I just couldn't muster the courage to take that first step forward. To be honest, I was scared, because what if beyond this is just... Jesus, this isn't like me. Just because I'm scared doesn't mean I'm gonna run away. I gotta move forward. I love her! Okay. Kaede! Kaede! Don't worry about it. Let's just go, Suichi. I psyched myself up and with a newfound strength walked boldly toward the doors. Upon opening the doors- oh, so they're not locked. We were immediately greeted by blue skies, bright sunlight, gentle wind, and what? We're in a dome? Cage? A wall? Both words were accurate. What stood before us was both a cage and a wall. Either way, the enormous wall struck me a terrifying chord. The mere sight of, an imp of its imposing presence was enough to send waves of panic through me. 
but no matter where we looked, ahead, up, behind, above, or all around, the cage surrounded the entire school. What is this? We're trapped. Yep. What's going on? We are in a bubble. We have trans. These motherfuckers. We have gone into the sci-fi genre. Okay. Surprised about the cage, huh? I totally understand how you feel. First time I saw my teeth and fingernails fell out. That's a healthy way to react to surprise. Meow! It's totally awesome, huge! I can see why it's called the end wall! Damn. End wall? Normally, walls are erected to separate two places, right? But that wall is different. It represents the end of the world. What are you talking about? What, mm, what were we talking about? Yeah. How was someone talking? Was I talking? <laughs> Stop laughing and explain yourselves. There's nothing to explain. That's simply how it is, so please don't bother. You can't get out of here! That well has no entrance or exit! It cannot be climbed or demolished! An well, ultimate can probably climb it partway, but most of the time it's impossible! What? Uh, but they can still sort of climb it, huh? I took a deep breath and shouted at the wall as loud as I could. Someone help us! <laughs> Please help us! Someone, anyone, please help us. We're trapped inside this huge cage. I shouted as loud as I could, but for all my shouting, there was no response. Uh, please stop, you'll hurt your throat. I'm already hurting my throat with all these voices. Can't wait until some of you die. Yeah, scream all you like, no one hear you anyway. No one can hear us? What do you mean? What do you mean no one can hear us? Say something! One of you just answer! Damn it! Monadam is ignoring them excellently because he refuses to open his heart! He can thank my fearsome bullying for making that happen! Shut up, we're the monocabs. We need to be tough or not or not. What is this? You things, the school, what is all this? You bastards will have to use your legs, hands, and eyes to find that out for yourselves. But please watch your step while you explore. The school is still under construction. Huh? Under construction? I looked around. It was true. Some areas didn't seem as they were still in construction. Is this an old west town? Looks like they're still building some of the facilities here. Oh, I saw a Monokuma face! Are they in, still in the middle of building a school? No. I don't think so. It seems more like they're renovating an abandoned school. Either way, the construction will finish soon once we set the exiles on autopilot! Ex- huh? Exosols? Well, it's part of a back again, the exosols that work for construction to support their wives and kids. Okay, I guess that's okay. Do robots really need that kind of backstory? Their steering wheels are leopard print and their dashboards are lined with arcade prices. Seriously, knock it off, guys. They sound like douchebags with backstories like that. I guess. And then they go, but more importantly, is what they said really true? We can't escape, we can't go over that wall? And no one's coming to rescue us. But if I give up now, then what? I slap both of my cheeks, eh. And my, and as my face grew warm, I could feel my determination returning. Hey, hey Suichi, let's go see if we can find a way out. I slapped him upside his head, not firm enough, just firm enough to get his attention. Oh, we hit him! 
that's how you know, uh, uh, that's how you would know I love you is when I, like, slap you on the arm or something. Ow! I'm so sorry, Suichi! I love you! You're so cute! I'm sorry, he's just so adorable! How can you not love him? Suichi, I'm not great at motivating others well, but we can't just give up because of a wall. We came in somewhere, so there has to be an exit. Yeah, we, may, we may not be able to escape now, but we'll do it eventually, somehow. Yeah. Everyone just has to cooperate if we want to get out of here. Yeah, that's right. It's too early to give up. It's too early. Oh, hey, I see somebody. Person! I didn't even make this big-ass wall. Seriously, I just don't get it. Hey. I wonder what will happen now if we can't escape then. Right. Hey, what are you complaining? Huh? Quit complaining and grumble it or I'll tear you into a habit. Besides, this cage is nothing compared to the vastness of the universe. Huh? The universe? Oops, I haven't introduced myself yet. My bad. I love astronauts. How about it? I'm an astronaut. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I've never been to space, so I don't know much about it. Well, of course. Not just anyone can get up there. I may be an astronaut, but I'm still actually in training. I oh, I see. So you're still a trainee. But, you know. but I'm the first to But I'm the first teenager to ever pass the exam. That's dope. I mean, normally you need to take a college, uh, you need a college degree to even take the exam. Huh? huh? Then how did you take the exam? I had a friend who was pretty crafty, so I had him forward some stuff for me. That's illegal. Yeah, yeah I ended up getting caught. I was a pretty deep shit. But the people up top decided to let me in. Let me in anyway. Cool, size the exam too. Jeez. That's reckless. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. There's no way I could wait until after college. I won't get up in space as fast as I can. You sure have a lot of energy. Yeah, everyone told me it was impossible, but not for a moment. Okay. That's because limits don't exist unless you set them yourself. As you know, walls you can't get over the same goes for that one. So, do you have any ideas? That's not the problem! <laughs> um, no, that is the problem. Jeez, this guy sure talks a big game. I like him. His hair is all swoopy. <laughs> A very scary man. I'm sorry for calling you Tarzan. Oh, this guy looks scary. He's so big and muscular. Um, um excuse me? Huh? Thank you. Oh my god! Oh, thank you! Huh? Thank you. Sorry. Oh, sorry for scary. Um, Gunta scary looking. Most people not want to talk Gunta. When they meet first time. I love it. I love it. I love him. He seems so friendly. He's like a giant teddy bear. I love it. Let's go to gentlemen. So, like gentlemen, Gunta say thank you. Thank you for talking to Gunta. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you for being so polite. He looks scary, but he doesn't seem very scared at all. I like him. Oh, oh right. Gunta need to make introduction. Ultimate and oh, is that bugs? Don't you want to become gentlemen? Becoming true gentlemen, don't just go. Oh, he wants to be a gentleman. Ah! Oh, so he's 
so you're Gunza. That's a really cute name. Oh! I love him. Oh my god. Really? Thank you. Oh, uh, you're actually pretty nice, silly me, for being scared at first. Oh, Gunta, scary looking, huh? Oh, sorry, that's not what I. No, it's okay. Gunta used to it. Gunta is called scary since he was kid. Since you were a kid, huh? Kid Gunta bigger than other kids. Other kids scared of Gunta. So Gunta play alone. That's how Gunta come to like bugs. But when Gunta really focus, it's easy to lose track. One day Gunta going to forest to find bug end up getting lost. That sounds rough. Were you able? Were they able to find you right away? Yeah, took ten years though. What? My man spent ten years in the forest. He he was Tarzan. This is Tarzan, everybody. This is anime Danganronpa Tarzan. Love it. Ten years. But Gunta fine. No family took care of Gunta. I see. I'm glad they were nice people. Oh, not people, wolves. I love Gunta! Wolves? But they really nice. Cause of forest family, Gunta learned to speak bug and animal. As thanks, Gunta want to show forest family what great gentleman Gunta is. I love this guy! Um, how is becoming a gentleman going to thank them for that? This place strange, huh? Not of plants, but no bugs. Wait, really? Uh, I suppose it's understandable that there's no animals, but no insects? That's strange, not even one bug. You like bug too? Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, what's your favorite bug? What do you like about them? I love the praying mantis. Uh, first, I'm gonna need you to change your face. I like the praying mantis. She is a ninja badass who can eat, who eats birds. Praying mantis eats bugs, birds, fish, snakes. Praying mantis don't give a fuck. Mice. Praying mantis is the dopest bug there is. My man, I'm down with it. Oh no, I wasn't saying that I like bugs or anything. Then you hate bug? No, 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 especially not with that face. What? Do you hate bugs? Um, you don't hate bugs, you love them, right, Suichi? The Kaede knows what's up. Yeah, of course I do, I, I love bugs. Oh, okay, that good. No bad person, like bugs. Woo! <laughs> that was scary. Oh yeah, I thought you were gonna die. Don't let him kill Suichi! He's too cute! I'm gonna be say. I wonder how many times I'm gonna say he's cute. I'm gonna have a counter. Honestly, I can't stand bugs either, but it might be best to hide that. Maybe they're in this creepy building! Let's go! Shrine of Judgment. I have a feeling this is where the trial ground is. Oh, who are you? You look like fun. How are ya? My name is Angie Yonaga. I'm the artist. Hey, I I fucks with it. Oh, she seems all bright and happy and flowy. I like it. You're pretty cheerful. She's a bit too happy, considering the situation we're in right now. Okay. I'm gonna have to do something happy and flowy. <laughs> There's no reason to carry bad thoughts with ya. You gotta live every day like it's a bright, cheery, and fun. So, say it's a Tua. Uh, who is a Tua? A Tua? The God of my island, a Tua. He's always speaking with me, speaking to me with his divine voice. 
I guess that's cool, like... Oh, well, she's certainly devout. Do you specialize in painting or sculpting? Oh, I do both. I do both. The paint... I paint paintings, I sculpt sculptures. But the two is the one who makes the art. I am merely offering my body as his vessel. So divine. Ah, so divine. Ah, how divine. I see, that's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? Of course, of course. Oh, I like her. Of course, of course. And on return, will you make an offering? An offering? Uh, Every Monday and Wednesday morning, on my island, a truck comes to collect offerings. That sounds oddly similar to putting out the trash for a pickup. Don't worry, don't offering. When I say offerings, I just mean a pint of food to of your blood. And they have a truck of this? Okay. Don't worry! I'm a bit anemic, so I'll pass. I see. I see. What about you then? Huh, me? A boy's blood is also an acceptable offering. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. It won't hurt one bit. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, uh, ah, don't run away! Run, Suichi, run! I'll trip her! This girl is so weird. Get behind me! I will protect my baby boy Soichi forever! He is too cute! to intrude what is it this time what do you mean by intruding because this is your home you bastards they finished in the bowl of shots and now you can go pee why are you peeing in the shower why don't they just use the toilets oh even for number two motherfucker you're shitting in the sun what i can understand you're tired long day Pay in the shower once in a while. I understand. They're, they're, whatever. It's a thing. I'm not shitting in the shower. Wait, do you go number two in the shower? Ew, that's gross. Golly. What do you mean our home? They made for us to live here. See, there's some 16 doors. Perhaps a room for each of us. It's my room next to Suichi's, please. I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. Well, who are you, madam? Oh, I failed to see their objective. Huh? What do you mean? If they're holding us for ransom, a large facility such as this would be unnecessary. Furthermore, I gather they would rather care for us than hurt us. In light of this, I fail to see the true objective of the culprits responsible for kidnapping us. Culprits, huh? I never thought about that. Why would our kidnappers to go to all this trouble? Sixteen ultimate students have been gathered here, but why? What's the reason? Oh, pardon me, I've not introduced myself yet. This place probably would get dirty after a while, so yeah, having a maid is cool. Wow, the ultimate maid sounds like a really cool talent. Oh, wait, I've heard of Kirumi Tojo. The ultimate with a credible talent and strength, working as a private maid. I've heard that her work is so perfect she can complete any request given to her. What? She's that amazing? Please, you're exaggerating. I will not complete any request that is asked of me. Once I received a request to annihilate a rival nation, but that was impossible, I rejected it. Why would somebody tell that to a maid? 
Yay! But being requested to do that is pretty impressive on its own. That's true. I've also heard that she's been hired as bodyguards to several foreign dignitaries. I've only been employed as a maid, not a bodyguard. But you've been hired by so many important people. You're like a super maid. maid. Moving on, what do you intend to do now? That's a tough question. What should we do now? What do you... Th what would you do, Kirumi? I hold no opinions, nor desire of which to speak. As a maid, I, my only desire is to fill the desires of others. So please, think about what you desire for yourself and what you desire for me. I desire a delicious turkey and cheese sandwich. Right now. Go, bitch. <laughs> no matter the situation, no matter what happens, I am here to serve everyone. Even in this situation, she's more concerned for others. Well, she's an ultimate maid after all. So is that everybody? Oh, hey, it is. Okay. Ding dong, bing bong! It's still around! Was that the bell? Kaede, okay, look, the monitor! Whoa. Can't be bastards waiting, huh? All right. Everyone, make your way to the gym, please. <gasps> the open Sam already can finally begin. Do they all have juice pouches? Right now, uh, oh no, it's all sodas. I thought it was juice pouches. That would have been funnier. What? Are there hanging dolls of us everywhere? There's Kaede. There's Gunta. There's Raya. Yeah, there's dolls of us everywhere. That's cool. I kind of want that couch. Yeah, we we'll finally finished our preparations. And do you realize you just read the lines backwards, don't you? Jim, opening ceremony. Hey, Katie, what should we do? Um, what should we do? Go, of course. Everyone else is probably doing the same thing. You're right. True, but I'm a little worried about this. Well, I'm not a little worried. I'm very worried. Oh, wrong button. Okay, everyone, this seems like a good place to stop for today. Uh, we met all of the people, and I am loving these people so much so far one suichi top babe i love him he's so cute okay uh i love gunta gunta so awesome he was raised by wolves how dope that's like half that's like half the furry fandom's dream is to have a wolf family <laughs> i'm not lying i don't think i would like a wolf family though because that uh, the logistics of it would probably be bad anyway um we have an ultimate maid that's cool we have a tennis pro that turned into a murderer. My cousin's really good at tennis, so maybe I might convince him to become a murderer, but he's not short, like, uh, re whatever his name. Rentaro? I know one of them was Rentaro something, I guess. But anyway, then we have the, the mystery guy, who from all the trinkets he has, and then he had that little compass thing. I know our, our costumes are supposed to incorporate our talent, so I'm thinking... He was an explorer, or some kind of adventurer. Uh, let's see. What else? Uh, the artsy girl is weird. The mask guy is weirder. Uh, but he's good for COVID, so A, thumbs up for that, I guess. Even though he has a really cool talent. I'm, I might have to deal with that just so I can see what he knows. Anyway, uh, if you would like what you see, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe so you can see my content in the future. Also, while you're here, if you have any questions or you just want to say hi, leave it down in the comment section below. I'm TZ Hyena. I'll catch you all in the next vid.